Hey guys, it's Ewan for Everything Paddle and this is five paddle serve tips in five minutes. I'm gonna transform your serve from this to this. This video is all about changing your serve from an average hit just to get the point started to something really effective. I've come up with my best five tips for improving the serve and I've got one minute to explain each tip. Make sure you watch the end as in my opinion tip four and tip five are the most important. Let's get started. Tip number one is to change your racket preparation. Don't come from here, start up here. If you watch all of the professional players or all of the top players, they're always starting from up here. So if you go for like from here, that means you have to lift the ball up and it makes it very easy for the opponent to return. Rather than coming here, it forces you to come down on the ball, which can create a little bit of slice, but also makes the shot way more effective as the ball's not coming up nice to the opponent. It's gonna head down with a bit more speed and pace. A great way to practice is just for every first serve, because it's gonna be a bit tricky for the first few times you do it. Every first serve, practice holding your racket up really high, bouncing a bit higher, and you can attack down. If it goes wrong, that's fine. Then on the second serve, you can go back to your normal one, but it's a good way to do it because you get two serves, you get two attempts for it. To make this easier as well, you can bounce the ball slightly higher. So if you have a very, very low bounce, it means you have to lift up from low to high, but you can bounce it all the way up to your waist. You can bounce it higher, and then you can attack the ball more from high to low. Tip number two is to get the correct spin. So lots of players will play with top spin, which means they'll be lifting the ball, rolling it so that it actually kicks up on the glass and it actually makes it easier for opponents to return. Lots of people then go with sort of side spin. Again, it's not brilliant. It can kick up as well. It's not too tricky to return. The best type of spin is the slice. So again, like I said from tip one, when you start high and then you brush down on the ball, you're actually gonna create back spin, which is gonna make the ball stay very, very low when it hits the glass. You can get it to the side wall if it reaches the back glass, probably going to come straight down and be very tricky to get the ball back. So the way you do it is preparing high and then as you hit you want to just brush the back of the ball to create that rotation this way and then it should go down the glass. If you can't do backspin yet that's fine just make sure you avoid this horrible topspin. A lot of tennis players will do it it doesn't work and it's not effective especially at higher levels. Tip number three is to make sure that you're running to the net straight after the serve and that your serve is all in one motion. So a lot of players will, will know that they've got to run to the net position and will serve and then they'll run in, which means they're really delayed to get to the net and they can't get there very quick. And by the time the ball's got there, the opponent can return back and they're not there in time. What I do, and this works for me, is I stand a little bit further back, I bounce, and then as I hit, my right foot comes in so that I'm all going in one motion towards that net. So all together, it's a bit like this. That way I can get to the net very, very quickly. It's all in one motion, it's very fluid, and I'm only maybe four or five steps away from getting the net position and winning that point on the first volley. I say do it from a bit further back because if you stand right on the line here and then walk in, the serve could actually be illegal as you're serving past the white line. You've got to be behind the white line when you serve. So I go a bit further back, bounce, and then go in with it. Tip number four is all about the speed of the serve. People serve very, very fast or really, really slow. You kind of want something about medium pace. If you go too fast, it gives you no time at all to get to the net position. It might be a fairly good serve, but it means that the opponent can just step in and block that ball back. You can't take the net and you've effectively lost the net position, which means they can attack on you. So it may seem effective, especially at a lower level, but it's not. If the serve is too slow and too easy, it might give you time to come to the net, but the opponent will have a lot of time to pick their spot and be able to attack that and maybe play a very good lob or a passing shot past you again, you'll lose the net position and it won't be as effective. The best pace is medium pace towards the glass and then you can take the net and they won't be able to attack you as much. Just going to pause the video here guys is another thing that could be letting your serve down is your paddle racket. Maybe it is time for an upgrade. Everything Paddle can help you with this. You can browse our website and find the best racket for your game. Take our paddle quiz, contact me personally or knock yourself out watching all of our record review videos. Tip number five is the direction of the serve. So there's two main places you can go. You can go down the tee or you can go towards the glass. Those are the places. I'd always recommend going towards the glass a lot of the time because players will struggle with the glass all the way from beginner to sort of late intermediate level. People will struggle to return that ball off the glass. Down the tee is also very good because it can throw the opponent off. So what I like to do is play a lot of the balls towards that glass and then maybe on your 15th, 16th serve, when you really throw them off, 
then you could pull it straight down the tee. It's an easy way of maybe getting a couple aces in a game, which is quite rare. You're not going to get many, but it's a, it's a chance to get it. If you can get the ball to hit the glass, it also gives you like an extra half a second to get to the net position. So if I play it and then it hits that glass, the player's got to let it hit and then they've got to play the shot. So it gives you another second to get close to the net so you can play aggressive with your volleys. Thanks for watching guys. If you need help choosing a paddle racket, you can contact me at 07704048874 on WhatsApp. I can help you choose the perfect racket for your game. Make sure to subscribe so you see more videos like this. Thanks.